to my channel and this is chapter 93 x and meter triplets <clears throat> the human anatomy is an os inspiring thing every single organ has a specific purpose powering the actions we take from running to jumping to just being <clears throat> but as i watched the os finger tighten around my septum slitter everything inside me was a mess taking the letter out of his hands this is what i wanted to talk to you about i got into nya i i am going to new york in the fall wow yeah i wasn't sure if i should bring it up i mean you're staying here and nyc is a long ways away and i know you were cool about it before but then it was it was just hypothetical now it's real and i can't tell what you were thinking what what are you thinking Silence will between us, putting the wrong intention. Well, that's it. Any second now, he's gonna say he never should have fallen for me. He's gonna take it all back. And before my mind could run too far, now wrapped his arms around me, pulling me into his chest, grounding me to that one moment. I'm thinking, congratulations. Oh wait, I didn't even know I had been carrying left my chest. And for the first time since I had walked back into that room, I took a deep breath. You are. It's kind of bittersweet, but yeah, it will be hard. But we'll find a way to make things work. Whatever the future record and show, nothing can tear us. I promise. The words were barely out of my his mouth when my phone rang, and when I looked down at it, I had a new message. Haven't heard from you in a while. You alive? Sorry, just got this. Been under a mountain of moving boxes, but if you don't mind helping, I had. Love to see you. Everything okay? Yes, I finally heard back from Matt. Matson, I guess he's moving. Does he know about New York? I shook my head. I'm not sure. You gotta tell him. Just that we do haven't been close since forever. He's not gonna bail on you now. He took my phone in his hand, and I untightened my head back until I looked him right in the eyes. His voice lowering to a masculine voice. And for the record, neither am I. I swallowed hard as I leaned into his touch, with my imagined drawing him closer. And ah, uh, young love. Now and I jumped up, and when I looked round, Buddy was leaning casually against the door. At your age, it feels like it can cure all. But when you get to the get to be as old as me, you realize one thing: it can't fix. Is the transmission of a 1988 Thunderbird? If only there was a mechanic around. I he eyed now pointedly, then nodded towards the bay before heading back to his work office. I should get back to work, but talk to Nasir and let him be excited for you too, because he will be. As now hurried back to the house, I took a deep breath. I was ready. When I got to Jennings, nothing was the way I remember. Gone were the fancy cars lining the track, the prim and the proma, proper bankyard lot. <coughs> Instead, I found Mason lugging boxes out of the house alone, each one looking a little heavier than the last. Need a hand? He plopped the box down against the concrete and shot me an excited smile. Actually, I'd love one. Come on, there's no insult. I followed him into the living room to see boxes stacked high, waiting to be moved. Where are you taking all this stuff anyway? You mean you don't know? The East Bridge Humor Mill is losing its touch. The government froze our assets, and since this place was purchased with illegal income, they seized the house too. Luckily, the family in our ha- old house was still looking to sell. We are moving in there and cooperating with the investigation. Mason, I'm so sorry, but at least there's a silver lining. We'll all be neighbors again. Get some one-on-one time with your mom. <coughs> you can drop by for dinners and movie nights. It will be like you never left. That's probably the best news I have gotten in a while. 
we each grabbed some boxes and hefted them outside, working steadily until all the boxes lined the driveway. So, when do the movers get here with the van? About that. Mason grabbed his keys out of his pocket and hit the remote. A plain black ch car chirped from its place near the garage. <clears throat> Nobody's coming. It's just us and this guy. Is that your new car? Yeah. Turns out you can't pay bills from a frozen account. So we had to give my car back. My mom pawned her dream wedding ring to get me this one. She must be devastated. Hardly. She's actually at work right now. Her first day at a new job in years. And she was excited to go. But I should probably tell you, the Air Force Academy yanked my admission. They sent a letter and everything. Oh, Mason. I put down my box and wrapped him into a hug. And he squeezed back. But when I pulled away, he was still smiling. I'm okay. I'm okay. But how? Your whole life is being ripped out <coughs> from under you. Wait a second, guys. My throat. How are you even still standing? Mass inside and turned to look at the huge mansion looming over us. I'll admit, I took pretty it I took it pretty hard for a while. I was mad as hell and I didn't wanna see anybody. But then I realized everything I'm losing has traces of my dad in it. And when it's all gone, he's finally be purged from my life. So far as far as I am concerned, they can take it on. It will be an adjustment, but I'll survive. That's really brave of you. But are you sure you're ready to say goodbye to all of this? I think I am. It's like the last two years were a really twisted fever dream. And I'm finally waking up. I took his hand and he stroked the back of mine with his thumb. It may suck, but this is how things were supposed to be. Well, if we are embracing this suck, I like your new car. Let's get you home. The space screams, help me, I'm part of an HOA. <coughs> Madison laughed and gave me a playful shove, and together we started loading the boxes into his car, packing it to the gills, while Maverick ran in circles chasing his tail. After we had strapped the last box to the roof, we climbed in and started the drive back to our old neighborhood. But my acceptance letter still felt heavy in my pocket, and I weighed the idea of telling Madison about New York over and over again. If I say something now, it will just seem like bragging. But if I don't say something, how long will it be until someone needs else does and he should hear it from me? I just spill, spill it. Hmm? Whatever it is that has your eyebrows sewn it together, just say it. You know you want to. I don't think now is the right time. You have got so much going on. My good news can't wait. Would it help if I told you some good news first? <clears throat> All I am hearing is that you have been holding out on me. What's going on? Well, believe it or not, I went to see my dad. Uh, oh. Now playing as Mason. The memory rushed back, bringing the dank smell of the prison with, them, with it. The CEO led me to a room in the back and when he opened the door, there was my father, sitting handcuffed to the table. Don't get up on my account. This won't take long. The officer shut the door behind me and I heard the loud click of a lock slitting into place. I sat down at the table. They took my car today. Repossessed was the word they used, actually. And I got a call from the commandant of cadets at the academy. She told me, in no uncertain terms, I am no longer welcome in the fall. <clears throat> I have never been so embarrassed in my life. For the first time since I had walked into the room, Dad turned to look at me, his eyes burning with anger. So, you think I care about your car or your school? Look around, Mason. I have bigger problems to worry about. But that's just it. You don't have to care about school. Because while you were busy ruining my life, I saved my life. I applied to the Novel Academy and I got it. I just came to t tell you I didn't knew, need you after all. No sense is best. Everything you think you did for me was for nothing. In fact, this will be the last time we see each other. And looking around, that may be for the best. You have got bigger problems to worry about, right? Not playing as Addy. As we pulled up in front of Mason's old house and started up unloading, I felt my jaw fall open. And then I got up and walked out. Oh, Mason, I'm so proud of you. And the best part of it all is that Maryland is only a train ride away from New York. 
I pulled the letter out of my pocket and handed it to him, watching as his eyes skimmed the page. You got in? Mason scooped up into a hug, and together we spun around on the lawn until we were both too dizzy to stand. We collapsed into each other's arms on the co- co- cold ground, and he pulled me close, his body warm against mine. For a second, my eyes found his lips, soft, full, and f- just inches away. Then I watched as his face slowly fell. Wow, I guess this is the end of the era of an era, huh? <coughs> Mason, I guess so. We always knew we had end up here someday, and at least we came full circle, right? Yeah, there's always that. Come on, let's get these boxes inside. Don't be sad. Or later, after lugging everything in, Mason and I sat perched on their stairs, letting the nostalgia wash over us. I'm guessing you told no already. Believe it or not, he was actually the one who convinced me to tell you. Then I guess I owe him one. And hey, with both of us out the way, that just leaves her. How hard do you think she's gonna take the news? My stomach clenched at the question because it was the one I had been trying desperately to avoid asking myself. Everything about our relationship was new. Could it even hold up to the strain of possibly being long distance? Or were we over before we had even really begun? I guess this is the end. And here you go with chapter 93. It's only Ava that's left to take the recoil of this submission of mine that I am going to leave soon. And so this is it. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye for now. Enjoy this.